Hello and welcome back to another F1 Manager video where today we are going to be racing around Jeddah. I am once again sending my drivers out early to see where they will stand in the pecking order. And here is their first qualifying lap. We now come to the end of both of their qualifying laps. Sebastian Vettel actually set a quicker time than one of the Red Bulls in practice, so I'm hoping for a good position. And now it's time to watch their second qualifying lap. Happy to push. We can push more. Yeah. You can use energy. We have now finished qualifying and it is now time to go to the race. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Aston Martin were on target for qualifying. Now it's up to them to defy expectations for the race itself. McLaren did a decent job during qualifying. This is a solid grid position and it certainly has the potential to lead to good race results. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. Well, this is certainly going to be a challenging, but no doubt exciting race here in Jeddah. The drivers are lined up tonight under mostly clear skies. And there's Sebastian Vettel. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. There's Lance Stroll, down the grid. They're in the back half of the pack, so they'll need to work hard if they want a podium finish. Everything's been building to this. We're now moments away from this, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. As Gasly can't brake properly, he sends it down the inside and nearly crashes into the back of the McLaren, but also past our driver Sebastian Vettel. So that's not a good start. No. Stay cool, man. You're doing a good job. In due turn 13, there was a massive traffic jam and it slowed up our driver's stroll even more. Was that a lock-up on the track? Let's have a look. Now we see the Williams here. And there's the lock-up. It almost got away from them entirely. And as Latifi was once again being Latifi, our driver Stroll finally got past the Williams. The cast and Martin have just gained a race position. Here's the replay. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. We now go to lap 14, where Vettel does an amazing overtake on the outside of Gasly, and then we piss him in for a new pair of tyres. You're doing a good job. 
Aston Martin took a chance and it's paid off. Let's see what happened there. Now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. Surprisingly, was Vettel was in the pits, Stroll overtook two cars. But then all of a sudden, there was the yellow flag, and this is because the McLaren locked up and nearly hit the back of Stroll. Sounds like someone's locked up. Let's have a look. Daniel Ricciardo involved here. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes, and they've locked up. That incident was a bit too close for comfort. But now it's time to get back to the racing. And it wasn't long until there was another crash. Sounds like there's been a crash. Let's take a look at the replay. Now just focus on the hats. That crash is terrible news for the team. And once again, there was another near miss for our driver, Lance Straw. But then, a few times later, he decided to spin it round. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a closer look. So this was the Aston Martin. And yes, that's where they spin out. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. This was now his second mistake throughout this weekend. And now, thoughts of replacing him start to creep in. Magnussen was once again fighting one of our drivers, but this was into the same corner that he crashed, so I was very aware that he might crash again. And then a few laps later, there was once again another crash. Let's hope this one is not pathetic like all the other ones were. Yellow ahead. Yeah, okay. We can take a look now. Okay, so there we have the LP. That's an off and a big off. Sadly, this was once again really, really pathetic. We've just had a spin. Let's have a look. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. That looked like a very nasty spin. And we have now broken the record for having the most yellow flags in a race. Watch this. There's Leclerc. Oh, they've lost it. They've locked up. And we now finally have a few laps where there's no yellow flag and there's no chaos. So here are the highlights. That was a crash. Let's take a look at the replay. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. Dear me, they won't have been expecting that. And we're now back at the phase where there's some so-called crashes. We've had a crash. We can take a look now. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. And there, we see the crash. That was
was probably one of the worst so-called crashes we have had. We have now come to the end of the race and our driver Sebastian Vettel came 18th and Stroll came last Tough after time. his disappointing spin. Sebastian Vettel with a comfortable result for his team here. Aston Martin had a good enough weekend, but there's still some margin for improvement here. Yes, I imagine they'll roll up their sleeves now and make sure their next performance goes even better. Now that all the points have been tallied, the team is in 10th place in the constructor standings. And for the next round, Formula One is heading down under. Exciting times ahead in Australia on the shores of the Albert Park Lake.